I saw a video of a boy using ducks to weed his greenhouse. But I think my ducks need trained because they haven't done a very good job of weeding. Yeah. But yeah, so that's that's the one plum tree that's doing really well. This one here is kind of, uh, I don't know, it's not dying, but it's not doing quite as well as that one. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Good duck. This is my rhubarb, it has started coming again. I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. These wee berry bushes have got loads on them now. Those ones there are absolutely littered with them, but they're covered in nettles, so... <clears throat> and as you can see here, that's the potatoes there that I put in bags. And these are the ones that were actually turned over and planted properly. And they are enormous. I'm actually afraid to go anywhere near this with a strimmer because I tried to I tried to tromp the grass here and I ended up tossing half my peas. Because <clears throat> these mares tail had grew and the peas had like wrapped around them and strangled them. <laughs> so whenever I tromped them, the peas went too. But there's actually loads of these here, pea pods now. Like, loads and loads of them. Class. And um, these ones here that got frost damage, these potatoes, they're coming back again, so that's quite nice. And then this is the two tires that is overgrown. Again, current bushes. And I'm going here, so this is the beetroot still. This is cauliflower. I threw the I threw the broccoli out that it wouldn't come out for me, so I put it in upside down and I'm hoping it'll grow up again. <laughs> and that's my one bean. The other one got eaten. Or disappeared. So I'm not expecting any beans. <laughs> And then, these are the biggest strawberry leaves I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I have big hands and it's bigger. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's loads of strawberries. There's one, they're actually starting to go red. Class. I was a bit worried, because they were all growing really big and green. And one of them, or two of them, went brown like that and I had to nip them off. So it's, it's actually really nice to see one going red. I didn't think they were getting enough sunlight in here. Because they're kind of at the back of the greenhouse. And these are getting all the sunlight. And then uh, this is my sweet corn here. He's starting to do sweet corny things, I think. I was going to plant them out, but I thought they're growing quite well. So I'm just going to leave them. This is all tomato. Really, really dense tomato. And um, there's tomato and potato there. That is my one cabbage that survived. And it is growing really, really well. I uh, that's radishes, that one in there. I need to lift that out. That's more tomato. Those are tomato. Those are tomato. Those are radishes. Those are the beetroots there. They're massive as well, actually. I'm trying not to stand on this. Well, <laughs> that's meant to be spring onion, but I'm pretty sure it's just weeds. That is grass, and that's something else. This is my carrot. I'm pretty sure that is actually a currant bush. I know bush is a bit of a stretch, because it's like three leaves. <laughs> but the... I'm pretty sure it is actually one growing, which is nice, and then obviously the strawberry, so. Getting on well. That cabbage is doing super well. Um, I did pull a heap of radishes, and I planted radishes in this year. Um, the broccoli wasn't doing well. I don't know. don't know what was wrong with it. It was real straggly, scraggly, like sparse just and then if I step back you might see so this is pea or not peas what are they grape so there's just gonna be so many grapes which is class because they're really really nice the only bad thing about them is that there's seeds in them so 
you just have to be careful when you're tuning. They're far nicer than the ones you'd buy in the shop though, so kinda worth it. Cool, well that's another week or two. Um, I've had quite a few of these mare's tail coming up and I've just cut them off and threw them in here and then tromped on them several times so they're not growing in there with the weight of me walking on them. Class, I'll come back in another wee while whenever I'm super happy about that strawberry. Class, I didn't think they were going to go red at all for me because they were taking a long time. <laughs> but yeah, I'll come back. So this is me jungle. <clears throat> I'm after buying more a uh, slug pellets, and I'll show you why in a minute. But this bottle of was kind of cool. It's got a wee hole, and then you can shake it like a like a salt cellar, rather than the other one where you have to be very careful. But I bought two of them because apparently that's like my sixth one I've went through. And um, so this is kind of cool. Um, this corn's doing something. It's funny that he's like half the size of the other corn, but he's doing all this here stuff. I'm pretty sure there's like. Well, there's something happening there anyway. Um, and I've, well, someone has eaten the first strawberry. This is the second one that's coming. But he's kind of, he's not quite, oh, oh, what else? He's not quite there on the underside, but he's there on the top. They're quite big then, strawberries, this is, which is nice. Um, that big boy there is the cabbage. Mum says he has shot, but I did not shoot him. So, I don't know. Nah, I think it's because it's too hot in the greenhouse, but I don't care. He'll grow. He'll do something. Uh, you can see the flowers over there in the back. Oh, I'll go in. <laughs> the flowers, that's the radishes. And then they'll start to shoot out little pods. I think that might be them there, actually. And they're, they're kind of like sugar snap peas in that you eat the pod and the seed inside them and they're, they taste like radish but more sweet, less spicy, less hot and then these are my little baby radishes, look at them oh yes, uh, that's my bean um, the white ones aren't slug pellets That's it's called slow release fertilizer and to be honest it looks a lot like what we would spread on the field, so <laughs> yeah, I've done myself in money, but yeah, look at look at this here for the slugs having a field day. That's my cauliflower, beetroot. I've got absolutely loads of these pea pods coming. It's really hard to get them ripe though. Like you see some of them, like that one there is quite fat, and there is quite fat, but you open them and they're, they're really nice, but the peas are tiny. Just annoying. And then uh, you can see the little track of war over the deck on this on this rhubarb. <laughs> so I've plastered him in slug pellets as well too to stop that from happening again. And I put a wee dose around the the two plum trees. So apparently the ducks have tossed those nettles, so maybe Oh maybe it was Meg actually she was in there. So if you if you want an expert weeder, get a collie dog. All right then, I'll come back in another wee while and see what else I've done. So I'm pretty sure the other rhubarb died, but this one here is doing kind of well, I guess. I've I've slobbered on loads more slug pellets and everything. Um, those are little. Uh, Apples, still nothing on the plum trees. Pretty sure the ducks have eaten the slug pellets. <laughs> so, no more slug pellets near the ducks. <clears throat> but the peas have been a massive success. Like, I must have got about 20 pods off them already, and there's, there's literally hundreds of them. Like, so I think I'll be doing peas again. And they're so nice, they're so hard to wait for them to actually fatten out and ripen. I know these aren't even fully ripe, but I can't wait anymore, they're just, <laughs> they're too tasty. <laughs> so, that's a success. And as for this planting the videos in bags, 
Those are the ones that were in the bags, and those are the ones that weren't. And they've just they've outgrown them by a landslide, like it's not even close. Two or three times the height. These ones in the pots did all right. That's uh, beetroot, cauliflower. Yeah, I made, made a mistake with the broccoli. I shouldn't have flipped it upside down. I thought it would have come out and grew anyway, but apparently not. Radishes are coming back. And something is eating them. And then I threw my sweet corn out because it was getting smothered by the tomatoes. <coughs> and then in here, I've had to throw out more strawberries because they get really ripened and then either something eats them or they start doing this here and just going brown. And then, well, they're no good, like. And I come in one day and all these tomato plants had kind of fallen out, but they're still growing. Yeah, they, they fell over on top of the sweet corns, so I had to take them out. Pain. That's my one big head of cabbage. The only cabbage plant that survived, and this is it starting to fall in the wee... The ball or whatever, the cabbage head. Cool. Those are beetroot. A carrot. That's my one wee current plant. Some radishes, some more tomato. And that's actually a radish plant that has grew out of there. As you can see, it's all very organised. Well kept. And the amount of grapes I'm going to have is going to be unbelievable. Like they're everywhere. I'm now having to duck again in here, which is a pain, but that's not a bad complaint. Cool. Alright then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.